Hello everybody, it is a Saturday and do you know what time it is or what it, what we do on a Saturday? We do The Grind Show. The Grind Show is a Saturday show keeping you in the know of things that are coming on in the game between Saturday right the way through to Friday of the following week. Why do we start on a Saturday? Because things actually do happen on a Saturday from time to time and it's very important to do so. The show wouldn't be possible without the amazing work of Dan of Frontline MCOC who puts in just like amazing work into things that keeping you up to date with everything coming on and around the battle realm and also things like Chris still tracking we've also got when champions drop into basic the mcc calendar which we use for this show and so much more so go and check out his site in the link in the description saturday always start with a saturday of course why do we start start with a saturday well there's stuff happening on a saturday in that a very important store is ending so if you haven't spent your happy camper or your regal resort based currency whether or not you got your ones your twos your threes your tokens of different numbers and as well you've got your special type of uh, hexa tokens whatever they are where you've kind of doubled up when it comes to a regal resort if you spend if you're non-spending like myself then you may be kind of like getting something else but do bear in mind it, it will end it, it's going to end so make sure to choose wisely grab that 10 a.m pst or otherwise it's gone and you'll be kind of going like where's this all gone and you'll be disappointed at the end of it the only other stuff that's happening 22 hour event should be a arena wins now do bear in mind based, based on different time zones it will be starting on um on like the, the the day so it doesn't mean necessarily it's going to be like it could be late for you it could be early for you it could be for me i think it's going to drop at about uh 4 p.m possibly uk time but again, like this is all down to because tw it's 22 hours, not 24 hour. It's difficult to then get the kind of the the the, 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 the coming down. I, I have to put like a multiple time zones as to when it drops, and that would take a lot of effort. Maybe I should do that one day, but uh, or figure out a way that it can like triangulate all the kind of time zones for it. But that's a, that's a real kind of extensive job to do. Oh man, I've got to collect that. I don't want to lose out my four hour um, uh, crystal. They're banging for Paragon, by the way. In any case, what else is on? Well, it's going to be your business end of things when it comes to Alliance Wars. So whether or not you are placing or you're uh, you're in the fight, which I think you begin the fight on on Saturday, it is the business end. The business end is you are fighting for those last positions, depending if you have, have kind of like solidified your placement in whatever kind of place you are. Uh, you're looking to get more points figure out how you're going to do stuff, those kind of things as well. So uh, so good luck to everybody on that. And the final thing is there's going to be an AQ enlistment. As soon as it ends, it starts again. So yeah, go and get the grind, as I've got to go and get in my grind with uh, with AQ in a moment uh, before getting back to things like Act 8.1, uh, which I need to catch up on. So yeah, got to do that thing. Sunday. Sunday seems more of a chill, relaxed day. And I would say, listen, because we've got event quest completion, you may want to double up on how you're grinding. Now, the point of recording this video, it is already up. And I am used, utilizing that for the point of going down to lower difficulties, like auto fighting through un uncollected, auto fighting through the end parts of master, in order to get myself the, uh, the 25 units, which... Love those 25 units, love that revive and love those health potions, especially because I want to go and get other content smashed out. All kind of save for things like Eternity of Pain Week 4, which is going to be mentioned in this particular uh, video. We also have a begin point of AQ, so as soon as it ends, it starts. The enlistment was Saturday. The start point is Sunday. Of course, that, that's what happens with that when it comes to like a weekly grind. And the only other thing that's happening on Sunday is that it's going to be a milestone reset. So, yep, as I try and find some extra time in my life to get things like, uh, you know, uh, incursions done, which I do, by the way, I do enjoy incursions. I have a lot of kind of but I do have a lot of problems with the way that Kabam have kind of made it and why they've made it in a certain way uh, for lower difficulties. So I really feel for people that have had to do uh, some some grind in things like Sector 7. I've had to put up with six stars. I just don't agree with that one. And also some unavoidable burst damage and stupid champions being put on the bridge. But it's another story for another day, right? Uh, the the milestone resets which is great if you want to grab yourself some extra gold and that's why i'm looking to kind of i grab most of my kind of extra gold uh, at the moment over to monday now and we see a little bit more activity it does feel like we're going to go into a not a stale week but do bear in mind because the length of the time of the event quest which is currently still at the point of recording this video there's three weeks still left uh, for this it means that a lot of announcements for the following month seem to be very much kind of like feel like this is a longer month a longer time a lot not delayed but it's it's a case like we're trying to look for little kind of nuggets of excitement and i, I don't know if it's going to be there 
In any case though, there is stuff that's gonna go on. The first thing is that there should be a 22 hour event being hero use. So that should be starting on that day or in and around uh, that day, depending on your uh, your kind of place where you are in the world. The other thing is the black ISO market and it should be reset, he says, and he is right. It is reset for the six star featured crystal, which is fantastic for those that wanna grab that. Do bear in mind that the next time, um, you, and you next time will probably be when you got the new six star featured which is exciting for a lot of people including myself who wants to stimulate my roster a bit more happy days right what else is happening on a monday well we'll have a, a round two of the arenas those particular arenas will be indeed for hella uh, there's hella right there Hella will be your featured and your sub featured is actually going to be a little bit of a banger. I'm sure people actually want to get this champion and that is Scorpion, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yeah, Scorpion. I'm sure a lot of people want to get themselves a little Scorpion. It'll also be a week two meta shift when it comes to Gladiator Circuit, which will see you Gimme Shelter, Concussive Res Resonance and True Lies. So those will be your week two buffs for those that are in Gladiator Circuit. It seems a bit more tougher this time to try and get into. It's the first month I've been able to play play uh, Battlegrounds and I've definitely found it a bit bit tougher uh, when it comes to like who I'm facing off against and also just like the running of the game which is a little bit kind of like eh at the moment especially in that uh, particular game mode and the final things that are going to be happening on a Monday is it's going to be an alpha catalyst arena the second to last thing is that it will be the final war yes indeed the alliance war is going to be entering into its Final War of Season 37. Hasn't been ridiculously bad, but hasn't been ridiculously good. Story of my life when it comes to this. Or, you know, like that, uh, you know, Greek uh, manager for the football team. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. And on to Tuesday, the British Day of Chewing should be a level up on if you're looking to plan champions to be leveled up and ranked up. Um, and as one of the things I do is I save up my champions, level up, and then I'll level them up um, there rather than kind of like, you know, pulling the trigger right off with there. Saving my gold, so there's more of an opportune time to kind of do that. Same thing with any kind of materials and rank up materials as well at the same time. Uh, the only other thing on Tuesday is that, as I said, it is the end to the Alliance War season, and I'm sure that it will kind of be the obligatory um kind of like responses on the forum as to like where's the rewards we need the rewards so yeah like expect the rewards to be well i say expect them to be out on the day no they won't be out on a day they'll probably take a lot longer to do especially because it would take long i don't know why like for some reason every time there's like people get rewards it takes me about two to three hours more than everyone else to get them don't know find it very strange even people that are in the uk or similar kind of place of like where i'm at so i don't get that but uh I don't know, Kabam do be weird, so yeah, Kabam continue to be weird, N no change there. On Wednesday, it's business as usual with uh, the I Want Candy solo event taking its, uh, I want to say fourth week? I could be wrong, and I could I could have like jumped the gun and it's the third week, maybe it's the third, I don't know, I kind of thought this is the third week, maybe it's six weeks, no, 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 it doesn't, no, no, it will, it will be kind of, Four total. There's five. We're getting. We get five total. I don't think it's ever been six. But yeah, I want to say there's going to be five total. But this is going to be the fourth, fourth one next week that we're going to see that one. And there is something else returning, and that will be Eternity of Pain. Yes, indeedy. Looking here and going, where's the Eternity of Pain? An opportunity for players to pick up things like. Uh, and I do think like. I don't know if I overly rate Eternity of Pain uh, for the particular nodes and the combinations of champions with it, but what I do rate about it is the reward system. That's fantastic, especially having that regularity of Tier 6 Basic and Tier 3 Alpha. Like, I think Kabam have done a great job of rewarding it the way that they have. It's just a case of, like, that sometimes the nodes and the champions are a bit kind of like, eh, but people get through it and, and like it. So, you know, I'm like, I can't really kind of overly complain about it. As I said, it's all right. Great rewards, fantastic. Um, so I don't know if that's ever going to come back. I think I want to say this is the second to last one or the last one. I can't remember which which one of the two it is. Uh, but we'll have to see. Will there be an Eternity of Pain 5? There's definitely a fourth one, so we'll see. Over to Thursday now, and this is when we'll get an Hero Use, Hero Use 22-hour event. No, I'm not going to get my words out of it. Uh, but also there will be a spot Arena, Spot and Doctor Strange entering into the arena, Arena 1. It will be Spot as your featured champion and Doctor Strange as your basic champion. So if you are looking to get some of those champions, and let's face it, some people want to add them to their collection, including the likes of uh, Doctor Strange himself, then you may kind of look at the opportunity. Am I going to? Probably not. Um, 
it's just not something that interests me at the moment, especially with stuff like uh, Battlegrounds. It's not something that I need to think, figure in my future. And that's something I need to plan for is building a stronger uh, Battlegrounds uh, deck, which isn't real. It's more of an offensive to take on content nowadays as opposed to a defensive element to it. So, yeah, but that's another story for another video as to like where I'm, my roster's kind of failing and where it's having W's. But in any case, what else is happening on a Thursday? Well, there's going to be an out-of-season alliance war for those that want to do it. And the last thing is that there will be a tier 4 basic arena. For those out there that do the tier 4 basic, and something I think Kabam definitely should think about down the line, putting a little buff to, uh, especially, you know, when there's tier 5 basics nowadays, would be great to kind of fit into this. But it is what it is, and it was what it was with what Kabam are doing. And Friday, which is the end of the week, and I don't think there's going to be any announcements. It would be nice if Kabam, like, shoved a little announcement about something in, just to kind of, like, spice up interest toward the future. Maybe a dev diary. Maybe it's something even to, like, talk about when it comes to relics but to be honest that's down to a personal preference of interest from the player base if you are super interested and invested in the likes of relics but in any case there is something going on on uh, on friday and that will be a level up event for those interested and as well an incursion milestone reset for those that do incursions and i would say if you want that gold again that's another opportunity to get a, a nice amount of gold if you're willing and interested and i would say not going all out into all the different sectors is a good thing. I mean, for me, I've done a little bit of um, of sector sector seven, which is good. And then I'll do. Well, I'll wait until the reset. Then I'll do a little bit of sector eight, or I'll do a little bit of sector nine um, at a different time. So at least like I can cover fifteen days of the reset. So I do the one reset. So we do a little bit of grind, top zone bonus grind, and then you know wait five days, do the next one sector eight, and then wait to the next one resets and do a bit of sector nine. So therefore, I kind of like gather myself a lot more gold for my travel of my grind and then I, after that I may kind of decide well I'll just hold off until next month before I get involved again so that's really it that's my process especially because going hand in hand there is also a um a, a, like a solo event for um for, for alliance stuff so you can just kind of again look to kind of like see what's going on with that are people grinding on it like there like you know we've got a little bit of interest there from players um, not substantial but then it's like well if one player decides to go right the way to the very end or kind of look at the grind that can be beneficial for the alliance working together especially with getting some artifacts for your trouble with these particular things so uh so yeah um that is really that that's been friday and that's been your week and at this point, I normally do a grind tip of the week. Uh, I don't think there's anything really to kind of like look out for when it comes to, to stuff. I'm, I've am now started officially this, this week in playing Battlegrounds for the first time. So that's something that's quite good to just kind of go and, and figure out that, that mode. I mean, there's not really much to figure out about it, but I think there's going to be some little tips here there as to when's the best time to go and grind. And that's just the thing, isn't it? As a lot of people are jostling for position, especially coming out of things like bronze going to silver, and with the fact that we have um, at least like three three weeks, like this is week one, isn't it? Week one of of battlegrounds, and people are still jostling for position. So you've got paragon people trying to like battle out in bronze three. Is it a case that it's wise enough to kind of like make an investment into grind now? Is it best to wait until the, uh, the the two weeks in in order to start making like little gains up? And that may be the thing. I'm playing about a lot of kind of theories of that, especially because I don't have a lot of time to invest into the game mode. So time, time investment is uh, probably the grind tip, grind tip of the week. Your own time is going to be important to you. If you have time for something, go and do it. If you have got an hour a day, to in and in, in that time, say you got one hour, two hours. Let's face it, you probably got about two hours to play uh, MCOC. In one an hour one, you probably will be doing things like your alliance based participation, and I recommend that use that time for alliance based stuff. If you've got a second hour, you have to make sure that one hour is used as much as possible. So where's the best place to use that? And again, that's down to where you think your hour, your sixty minutes, can be invested to get the most out of it. If that's by doing things like event questing, say for whatever reason you can do one chapter of, or you can 100% one quest in something like a cabinet and uncollected, right? That may be the way to go. You may get a little bit of units, you may get a bit of progression, but if you can do throughout the week and it's a slow progress to kind of get yourself cavalier 100%, then go do that. Because you could say to yourself, right, well, this is going to take me five hours to 100% cavalier difficulty, fine. You then maybe say to yourself, right, with five hours investment into Battlegrounds, is that realistically going to get myself, uh, you know, the equal point to that? Possibly not. 
you then have to look at other things of going, okay, well, what's expiring soon? What can I get involved with? Like invest your time wisely of what you need, what you want to acquire. With lots of things in the future, like Cyber Weekend, again, look at your time and look at how long. Take notes. One thing I try and do is take notes of like how long things take. So Battlegrounds per fight will take anything between 10 to 15 minutes. Bad, 15 minutes plus. Good, 10 minutes, okay? So I can do four, four rounds of Battlegrounds in an hour. If I get four losses, that's not worth anything to me. So look at your time wisely. Maybe do look at some permanent content. Maybe plan where you have more hours available to do things. Like things like for me, I'm like, okay, well, I need to 100% act 8.1. So anytime I get like about 20 minutes, maybe to 30 minutes, I might kind of go and do a path. I mean, worst case scenario, 30 minutes. I mean, best case scenario, like 15 minutes to do path to boss. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do. It's kind of sandwiching those times. So the grind tip of the week is manage your time and think about and note down how long things take you. And that will give you a perspective of how much you can do within one hour if you have one hour to do extra grinding. In any case, that's been it. That's been the uh, Grind Tip of the Week and that's been the Grind Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. Check out some other content located on screen. Good luck in your time grind and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.